Thanks for taking the time to take a quick look at easy access to Team Center inside pads. Over the next five minutes, you're going to see how easy it is to access Team Center right inside pads, to manage the entire PCB lifecycle, quickly find and reuse pads data from across your design chain, and contribute to a multi domain BOM. Let's take a look. Our Team Center integration for pads is going to let you manage that entire PCB lifecycle. So doing the same type of work you're doing, using Team Center to manage all that information for you. So capturing and managing your part library and your schematics and your layouts and your bill of material, your fabrication and manufacturing data, and even the visualization data. And so what we do is we, we embed those Team Center menus right inside that PADS user interface, which gives you easy access to do the typical th type of things you need to do. Open, save, check in, check out. So you don't have to bounce back and forth between different applications. And the nice part is Teams are automatically protects that data for you. So you automatically have that access control and revision control. So you're not gonna have somebody that accidentally deleted something that they weren't supposed to. And as you can see from some of the capabilities on the slide, you can manage all that PADS data. So like I mentioned, even that manufacturing and fabrication data, like the drawings, your Gerber files, your ODB plus, and so forth. The integration for PADS, the Teams integration for PADS also help you get your library under control. You know, how many part numbers do you have for a 10K resistor? And why do you have so many? Usually it's just, well, it's just kind of what happened, just kind of because. Well, we can help you get that under control. So with part requests, workflows, you can track the revision level of components and even have direct access to those asso uh, that associated data, like compliance forms and data sheets. And then for design review, you have easy access to start re a release process and automatically notify the participants. And you can save the visualization files. You don't even need pads to be able to view and review schematics and layouts which that could be useful for the non-PADS users, managers and downstream uh, consumers of the data. So lots of capability that we bring into the PADS user interface for you. All right, well, let's look at a demo. So this is about, another, about a minute and a half. So in this example, you're a PADS designer, and you're working on a project. And so right from inside PADS, you're gonna have access to the Team Center to open your design. And you'll see how you can do that same exact type of search to find and view your data and even view the related data all from inside pads. Once the data is opened up inside pads, you'll see how pads works the same way it normally does. You create all your schematics and layouts, place your parts, everything that you normally do. And then we have the Team Center commands that are easily available for you right in the toolbar to let you save back to Team Center, revise, check in and check out. Maybe you gotta request a new part because you can't find one in the part library or start a design and release process. All those types of commands are right there at your fingertips to help improve your overall workflows. All right, well, let's see this in action. So here you are, your user in pads, and so you need to open a design. So when you select open from design, there's Team Center, and you need to find it. There's a search box that we saw before. So you can very easily and very quickly plug in what you know and then start finding exactly what you need. You don't need to search multiple file servers or where did I put this particular file, I don't remember. You can very quickly search and narrow down exactly what it is that you're looking for. Once you've found what it is before you even open it up in pads, you can investigate it a little bit. You can look at the bill of materials, maybe look, so, look at some related documents. If there's a component in that bill of material you wanna look at, you can select that component and view some drawings or material spec sheets or any type of documentation that's related to it. You can also see where those components are used. So it's that same type of capability that we brought inside the pads user interface for you. Now, in this example, you're going to open up that PADS design. So you have the project, you open it up. And now PADS works the way it normally does. So at this point, you do all the stuff that you do on a daily basis. Move some parts around, place some components, add some parts from uh, the part library, and so forth. When you're ready to save back in a Team Center, so there's that Team Center menu. I'll pause this here and you look at it. That allows you to very easily save back in or revise or check in and check out start a workflow to maybe have this reviewed. All your commands are right there that you can easily kick off from inside the PADS user interface. So PADS work the way it normally does. We bring PDM inside the PADS where you spend all your time. Thanks again for watching Easy Access to Team Center inside PADS. You saw how easy it is to access Team Center right inside PADS to manage the entire PCB lifecycle and contribute to a full multi-domain bomb 
all right inside the pad's interface you are already familiar with. See more at Siemens.com slash impact of PLM.